Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. I'm, as you know, the lead Democrat on the antitrust uh, subcommittee, and I'm going to take a little different approach here than Mr. Hawley did when it comes to competition policy, um, because I understand why they might be coordinating when it comes to uh, security. Um, what I want to focus on is what I think we're seeing all over this country, not just in tech. Uh, we're seeing a startup slump. Uh, we're seeing more and more consolidation. Um, and throughout history, we've seen that that is not good uh, for small businesses, it's not good for consumers, and it's not good for capitalism in the end. Even successful companies, even popular companies, and even innovative companies are subject to the antitrust laws of this country. Uh, when I asked Mr. Uh, Pichai about this at the Commerce Committee hearing a few weeks ago, he said he told me Google was happy to take feedback, and my response was that the Justice Department already provided feedback in the form of a federal antitrust complaint. And I know there is investigation reportedly going on out of the FTC right now uh, regarding your company, Mr. Zuckerberg. So I want to start with exclusionary conduct uh, regarding excluding smaller competitors by limiting interoperability with the Facebook platform. Uh, the investigation that we saw in the House recently gave us a number of examples of companies, excluded companies, including Vine, Stacklaw, Message Me, and ARC. Uh, and my view is this conduct, exclusionary conduct, not only damaged the ability of these smaller businesses to compete, uh, but it deprived customers of convenient access. Um, you're one of the most successful companies, biggest companies in the world, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, Facebook. Um, do you think that this is fair competition or not? with regard to the interoperability and how you've conducted yourself with these other companies? Senator, I'm generally strongly in favor of interoperability and building platform and API access for, for companies to be able to uh, access. Uh, that's why we built the, the Facebook platform in 2007. Um, some of the policies that you mentioned, I, I think, came about because what we were seeing was uh, not necessarily startups, but larger competitors like Google um, and some of our Chinese rivals uh, from trying to access our systems in order to in, use their scale to compete with us better. And it just felt to us like at the time that that wasn't the intent of what we were trying to enable. Okay, well, we, have, noting, we may have a non-Chinese example here. I just want to know, I know that um, uh, the maybe we could hear from Mr. Dorsey, and I have concerns about Facebook's um, treatment of Twitter subsidiary Vine. It's my understanding is that once Facebook recognized Vine as a competitor after Twitter acquired it in 2013, it cut off Vine's ability to interoperate with Facebook so that Vine users couldn't upload their videos to Facebook. And then I think that Twitter shut down Vine in 2016. Mr. Dorsey, could you tell me about the actual impact of Facebook's actions on Vine's business? on Vine's ability to compete and on your decision to shut down the service. And I know you're not a Chinese company. Well, I don't, I don't know about the, um, the intent on the other side, um, but I know our own experience was uh, we found it extremely challenging um, to compete with Vine um, and uh, ultimately decided that uh, the ball moved past us and we shut it down. Um, again, I don't know the specifics and the tactics and, and, and what was done, but um, we, we did find a very, very challenging uh, market to, to enter, um, even though we existed prior um, to um, some of our peers uh, doing the same thing. Okay, I'm going to move to something else quickly. Instagram and WhatsApp, we have some released internal Facebook emails in which you, Mr. Zuckerberg, uh, wrote that Instagram was nascent, and if they grow to a large scale, they could be very disruptive to us. Uh, and in a later email, you confirmed that one of the purposes of Facebook acquiring Instagram would be to neutralize a competitor. Uh, you wrote those emails that were mentioned in that House report. Is that right, Mr. Zuckerberg? Uh, Senator, I, I believe so, and I've always distinguished between two things, though. One is that uh, we, we had some competition with Instagram in the in the growing space of kind of camera apps and photo sharing apps, uh, but at the time, I don't think we or anyone else viewed Instagram as a competitor, as a kind of large, multi-purpose social platform. Um, in fact, people 
at the time kind of mocked our acquisition because they thought that we um, dramatically spent more money than we should have to acquire something that was viewed as a as, as, as a primarily a camera and photo sharing app at the time. Um, okay, well, so, I mean, here's I the issue: so we don't we don't know how it would have done, and when we look at your emails, it kind of leads us down this road as well with WhatsApp uh, that part of the purchase of these nascent competitors uh, is to, I'll use the words of FTC Chairman Joe Simons, who just said last week, a monopolist can squash a nascent competitor by buying it, not just by targeting it with anti-competitive activity. So I know that this is a subject of investigation. Uh, maybe we'll be hearing something soon, uh, but I think it's something the committee members better be aware of, not just with Facebook, but what's been going on with these deals that have gone through and how it's had led to more and more consolidation and how we as the Senate, and I just talked to Chairman Graham about this last week, could actually do something about this by changing some of the standards in our laws to make it easier to bring these cases and not just involving tax.